In this video, I'm going to reveal seven major differences between the Fitbit Sense 2 and Versa 4. But first, I also want to point out 20 major similarities. The first major similarity is that the Sense 2 and Versa 4 are compatible with most Android and iOS devices, as long as they are running Apple iOS 14 or higher, or Android 8 or higher. However, do note that it is no longer possible to use a computer to set up a Fitbit. The second major similarity is that both Sense2 and Versa4 are water resistant up to a depth of 50 meters. This means you can wear either watch while swimming or snorkeling, but not while scuba diving. Also, Fitbit specifically states that you should not wear either watch in a hot tub or sauna or during high velocity water sports. The third major similarity is that Fitbit has brought back the physical button to the Sense2 and Versa4. Their predecessors, the Sense and Versa3, had a non-physical button that was more difficult to use, so this is definitely a welcome change. Do note, however, that unlike some other watches, there is no ability to flip the orientation of the display, so the button is always on the left side. The fourth major similarity is that the Sense2 and Versa4 are essentially identical in terms of their physical size and weight. They are both approximately 41 millimeters from top to bottom and side to side, which is essentially no change from their predecessors. They both have a thickness of 11.1 millimeters, making them 10% thinner than the Sense and Versa3. And lastly, they both weigh in at about 25 or 26 grams without the band attached. This makes the Versa4 nearly 14% lighter than the Versa3, and the Sense2 is almost 24% lighter than the original Fitbit Sense. The combination of the decrease in both weight and thickness is noticeable, and easily makes these my favorite Fitbits to wear while sleeping, especially when they are paired with a lightweight nylon band. Speaking of bands, the fifth major similarity is that Sense2 and Versa4 have the exact same band attachment mechanism. In my opinion, it is by far the easiest method of removing and reattaching bands of any wearable I've used. This is the same attachment mechanism that the original Sense and Versa3 used, which means you can use the same band on all four of these watches. In addition to having the same bands, the sixth major similarity is that Sense2 and Versa4 have the exact same charging cable. This is also the same charging cable that comes with the original Fitbit Sense and Versa3. One side attaches magnetically to the back of the watch, though do note that it only attaches properly in one direction. The other side is USB Type-A and can plug into any compatible USB port or power adapter. And speaking of charging, major similarity number seven is that Sense2 and Versa4 are both capable of fast charging. In my experience, this means after only 12 minutes of charging, you can increase your battery by up to 16%. Speaking of the battery, major similarity number eight is that Sense2 and Versa4 both have a stated battery life of six plus days. Of course, actual battery life will vary depending on your specific usage of the device, but the vast majority of people definitely won't need to charge their device every day. Major similarity number nine is that Sense2 and Versa4 have the exact same display. It is an AMOLED color touchscreen display made from scratch-resistant Corning Gorilla Glass 3. There are three levels of screen brightness and an optional always-on display mode. However, use of the always-on display will significantly decrease the stated battery life. Major similarity number 10 is that Sense2 and Versa4 have the exact same user interface. It is an updated version of Fitbit OS and it has some differences from the previous version found on the original Sense and Versa3. For example, you now swipe up from the clock face to see your notifications, and swiping down lets you access the quick settings. Swiping left or right from the clock face now shows you different tiles, such as your main goal, last two hours of heart rate, most recent sleep, and weather. A single press of the side button now shows a list of all apps, and pressing and holding the side button lets you quickly access an app of your choice. Major similarity number 11 is that Sense2 and Versa4 have most of the same clock face options. Fitbit has created some new clock faces exclusively for the Sense2 and Versa4, and there are many third-party clock faces available as well, although many do require a small additional payment that goes to the developer who created the clock face. You can visit gallery.fitbit.com clocks to see the available clock faces. If you see one you like, make sure to check that the device you want is in the list of compatible devices. Some clock faces are compatible with Sense and Versa 3, for example, but the developer hasn't updated it to work with the Sense and Versa 2. Major similarity number 12 is that Sense 2 and Versa 4 now have over 40 exercise modes to choose from, which is more than ever before. However, it is not clear that these new exercise modes do anything more than provide additional exercise labels. Major similarity number 13 is that Sense2 and Versa4 both still have an altimeter, which means both watches can track your daily floors climbed as well as elevation gain during a hilly workout. 
Major similarity number 14 is that the Sense 2 and Versa 4 both have built-in GPS, which means you can get real-time pace and distance, as well as a map of your workout in the Fitbit app, without needing to be connected to your phone during a workout. Major similarity number 15 is that Sense 2 and Versa 4 both still have best-in-class sleep tracking with all the sleep-related features you expect, such as sleep stages, silent alarms and smart wake, and a sleep mode that can be scheduled to automatically dim the screen, turn off always-on display, turn on do not disturb mode, and prevent the display from turning on when you rotate your wrist. Major similarity number 16 is that Sense 2 and Versa 4 both have a blood oxygen sensor. However, the usefulness of this sensor is limited because you cannot take on-demand blood oxygen measurements, and measurements are only recorded when you wear your watch to sleep. You can see a graph of your estimated oxygen variation within the sleep section of the Fitbit app. And you can see your blood oxygen percentage as a nightly average in the health metrics section. Major similarity number 17 is that Sense and Versa 4 both have an NFC chip that allows for contactless payments. At launch, the only option was Fitbit Pay, however, a recent update has added support for Google Wallet. It is important to note, though, that if you move to Google Wallet, you surprisingly cannot go back to using Fitbit Pay. Major similarity number 18 is that Sense 2 and Versa 4 both have a speaker and a microphone, and a recent update has added the ability to take on-wrist phone calls. Note that you can only answer calls, not make them, and your phone has to be nearby with the Fitbit app running in the background. Another feature that makes use of the built-in speaker and microphone is major similarity number 19, which is that the Sense 2 and Versa 4 both have a built-in voice assistant. You can ask questions and make requests, such as checking the weather or starting a timer. But this feature leads to the first potential deal-breaker because both Fitbit Sense 2 and Versa 4 do not have Google Assistant. They only have Amazon Alexa as a voice assistant option, and there are currently no plans to ever add Google Assistant in the future, even though Google Assistant is available on the original Sense and Versa 3. The second potential deal breaker is that Sense 2 and Versa 4 have no music features whatsoever, including no ability to control the music playing on your phone. So even the Spotify control app that is available on the original Sense and Versa 3 is not available on the newer Sense 2 and Versa 4. The third potential deal breaker is that Sense 2 and Versa 4 have no ability to use third-party apps. The Fitbit app gallery that is available on the original Sense and Versa 3 is surprisingly not available on these newer devices. The fourth potential deal breaker is that Sense 2 and Versa 4 cannot show swim lengths or laps in real time. So if you're a swimmer who likes to see that information during a swim, you'll need to consider another device. The fifth and final potential deal breaker is that Sense 2 and Versa 4 both have inconsistent heart rate accuracy during higher intensity exercises. If you rely on real-time heart rate accuracy during higher intensity workouts, I would strongly suggest you look elsewhere, almost anywhere else at this point unfortunately, or at the very least buy from a store with a good open box return policy. If however you only take mostly flat walks with your device for example, the Sense 2 and Versa 4 could fit your needs. If none of those potential deal breakers scared you off, we've reached the first major difference between the Sense 2 and Versa 4, which is the color of the gold version of each watch. As you can see here, the Sense 2 has a more traditional gold color, while the Versa 4 has more of a copper or rose gold color. Other than the difference in the shade of gold, the only other visible differences between the Sense 2 and Versa 4 are the metal-infused edges of the display that only the Sense 2 has, and the additional metal on the back of the device that only the Sense 2 has. These design differences allow for the next three major differences between the Sense 2 and Versa 4, the first of which is that only the Sense 2 has an ECG app. ECG stands for electrocardiogram, and the ECG app allows you to take an on-demand assessment of your heart's rhythm, which can look for signs of an irregular heart rhythm called AFib. Do note that the Fitbit ECG app is only available in select countries and not intended for use by people under 22 years old. For more details, you can visit fitbit.com ECG. The fourth major difference between Sense 2 and Versa 4 is that only Sense 2 has an EDA scan app. EDA stands for electrodermal activity, and the EDA scan app allows you to take an on-demand assessment of your body's level of physical stress. As good as that might sound to anyone interested in tracking their stress, the information that this app provides is not very useful, and I personally wouldn't recommend the Sense 2 over the Versa 4 for this feature alone. The fifth major difference between Sense 2 and Versa 4 is that only Sense 2 has a CEDA sensor. The CEDA sensor can continuously measure your electrodermal activity, and along with your heart rate and heart rate variability, can result in a notification that your watch has detected signs of physical stress. 
You are then asked to choose how you were feeling at the time of the response with options such as stressed, calm, or sad. The idea here is to automatically track your body's signs of physical stress and identify trends over time with a weekly report. I had high hopes for this feature, but I can't say I've found it particularly useful, and again, I personally wouldn't recommend the Sense 2 over the Versa 4 for this feature alone. Major difference number 6 between the Sense 2 and Versa 4 has to do with skin temperature. Both Sense2 and Versa4 can provide skin temperature data. However, the usefulness of this data is limited because neither watch can provide actual temperature values such as 98.6 degrees. Instead, they only provide temperature variation values such as negative 1.3 degrees below baseline. Also, skin temperature measurements are only recorded when you wear your watch to sleep. The Sense2 has a dedicated skin temperature sensor and a skin temperature section within the Fitbit app where you can find a full history of your skin temperature data as well as a nightly graph that shows your skin temperature variation measurements by the minute. The Versa 4 uses a device temperature sensor already inside the watch and can only provide a single nightly average skin temperature variation value with very little historical data. Even though Sense2 can provide more detailed skin temperature data than Versa 4, no other features seem to use this data at the moment, so I personally wouldn't recommend the Sense2 over the Versa 4 for this feature alone. The seventh and final major difference is probably not a big surprise, price. With a few more advanced health sensors, apps, and features, the Sense2 will cost you more than the Versa 4. How much more will differ by country and if there are any sales going on, but in the United States, the difference is currently between $50 and $70. If you prefer the more traditional gold color or really want the ECG feature, the extra cost for the Sense2 could be worth it. Otherwise, the Versa 4 is likely the better choice for most people. If you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up below as it really helps this video and my channel, and consider subscribing if you want to see more smartwatch comparison videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.